Hi, I'm glad you're here. If you're new, my name is Mitch, and today we're making deer jerky. We've already sliced up our meat real thin, and it's time to get the marinade ready. All right, so to make the marinade, we're going to add two teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper. Actually, mine is a mixture, because I like variety. And our next ingredient will be one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Next, we'll add a half teaspoon of our homemade dehydrated jalapeno flakes. And for our last dry ingredient, we'll add two tablespoons of dry minced onion. For our wet ingredients, we're going to add one teaspoon of liquid smoke. I've got hickory, but I don't think it matters. One tablespoon of some kind of sweet liquid. I've got this maple bacon syrup you could use any kind of fruit syrup or uh, just maple syrup or anything like that, um, honey. But this is what I'm using because it's low carb. A splash of Worcestershire sauce, a half cup of soy sauce, that's where you get your salt from, <laughs> and a half cup of apple cider vinegar. That makes it addicting. So just mix this up. Real good, make sure that uh, syrup is dissolved in there really good. Fold that up and close it and get most of the air out if we can. And then I like to always massage it up a little bit, make sure all those seasonings get in every space between the strips of meat. Right, we'll just put that in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. I think this time it's going to be 24 and it will turn out great. All right, then we have put the meat on the trays, spread them out pretty good. Um, I like to just put them on there drippy, let all that flavor bake into it. And we'll give it probably about six to eight hours until it's done. Adjust that to 160. About halfway through, I like to flip the jerky and rotate the trays. Okay, the jerky's been dehydrating for about six hours now, and I think it's pretty much done. So we're gonna check it out. see is those little white stringies that's pretty good mm. Mm. that's good that was a good amount of pepper mm -hmm. the jerky I made last time turned out not very peppery and I kind of wanted a little more heat this time so I think it was the perfect amount of pepper. Hey, yeah, I'm MJB reminding you, when life gets crazy, keep it simple. Make some jerky. I'll see you in the next one.